everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and today I am actually going to take you through my studio. So, uh, I am, uh, I wasn't feeling very good yesterday, so I didn't get anything filmed, and I wanted to be able to put up the video of the Panda Planner prize, so um, I thought that I would go ahead and finish up the little things that I had just left to get done, and I thought, oh, well, it won't take very long. Yeah, two, three hours later, <laughs> it's finally done, but um, to the best of my ability, actually. So I just, I hope you guys don't mind this, and I know several of you have asked me about it, so this is Rogue Studio. So hang on, and I will flip this around so I can show you. All right, be right back. Okay, the first thing we see is right behind the door and so I'm going to just pan around and so this is kind of what you guys see this is where you normally would see me and you have create up on the wall and that's my huge storage bin and then that's my work table and where I record and then these are closets and one little storage bin and we're back to the door. So we will come around again and I will come back. And so just to be able to get the lighting in here, uh, I have a big spotlight right behind me so that it actually gets some light going. And I also have a salt lamp right there behind that. So, um, but yeah, that is what that looks like. I've got some candles burning. Um, I, I uh, used to make beeswax candles and I found them and I love burning them because they burn away all the dander and allergens in the air and I usually keep this room shut off um, so the cat and the dog don't get in here unless I let them um, usually just when I'm in here and so uh, I'm burning some just to burn out some of the allergens but yeah let's I'm gonna go over here my chair over here a little bit but this is where I have all my storage so obviously you guys have seen the uh, bits of my hoard uh, just some odds and ends little pieces that I love um, Wonder Woman of course She-Hulk my two red and green She-Hulk and my Captain Kirk uh, my Groots and Pinky and the Brain, and Mickey Mouse, World of Warcraft, because I am a WoW addict. And so this is where all my, my smaller hardbound um, notebooks are. And then we go down further, and then we've got some of my uh, books, my crafting books, and my Chic Sparrow sets, and my coloring books, and some more storage. And then that's store. These are actually storage, but there's nothing in them right now. And somebody was asking what these were. These are actually skull candle holders, but because I am Viking and a medieval reenactor, those are shot glasses to me. And I drink from the skulls of my enemies. So there you go. <laughs> kind of morbid, but also kind of cool. These are my old planners, my old, um, Let's see, that's my uh, last year's, or yeah, 2017's weeks. Um, my happy planner that was for fitness, and these are happy journal or gratitude journals there. My Erin Condren, um, that was my exercise journal. My big happy planner that was for home, but I've changed that since. That was my, this is the big um, vertical Erin uh, Condren, and... I'm not using that anymore. That is a helmet. Oh, I get down here a little bit. And this is a Viking or a Valkyrie helmet from a friend of mine. And he sent that to me as a gift. Uh, he's an armorer and he owns a uh, Valkyrie Forge. And uh, I love it. And I use it more for cosplay. It's not actually a helmet I would actually compete in. But, you know, it's awesome anyway. And there's some of my Le Mans 
uh, all my Le Mom, um notebooks and some more notebook storage. Those are my minimalist art storage. Uh, this is all of my Rhodia books and these are all of my uh, moleskins, more moleskins, more, well these are my composition books and then you have my storage from Hobonichi. And then in here we just have, those are little envelopes. So this is little envelope storage. And this is uh, pencil case storage. Got them for like 10 cents a piece. And they make great storage. This is craft paper storage. So I've got two big reams. Oh, that's the Astro Brights storage and then reams of or ream of craft paper then I'm not sure what's in here um oh that's just more mailing storage so and then storage comes at a premium in this house especially when you have crap like this and this is my A5 paper and other A5 storage there's that. So, uh, my my orange glass um, bulletin board, which was supposed to go there, but I didn't really like it, and I was gonna put it where that is, and my globe that is my 10 year anniversary from the University of Utah, and still didn't like it there. Um, that is a vintage. Uh, suitcase with the mel uh, melamine handle and it has an A Ooh. Hollywood luggage and I found that at a thrift store and I loved it. I've got this one and one other one that are a matching set and I actually use them. They're wooden suitcases but they get beat up so they actually hold all of my baby pictures and that kind of thing and then these are envelopes. Um, they're just like you would have with a flower shop. And so I'm using those as thank you cards. And then this monster was an anniversary present for my husband. We got it at Costco. And as you can see, let me, let me flip around the light. A little bit more if I can we're replacing the light in here because right now all you have is that but we have a brand new light fixture that is super bright so um, just to go through this uh, if I can do this watching the camera so that's tape storage and this is um, sticky pockets of all sorts and then those are uh, business card laminating pouches this is label tape and staple supplies um, that is just extra boxes this is oh that's a cry cut lifter um, or a cricket lifter I got it for a dollar I don't have a cricket yet but I will eventually um, envelopes uh, I have tons of envelopes in my, on the second uh, level of my uh, Raska cart, Raskog cart, but um, that's out in my study. Uh, this is just uh, cardstock and various little stickers. This is small storage for, or small envelope storage for shipping out. And then these are little, um, Christmas uh, Christmas ornament gift card holders, and so I had I bought a ton of them because I got them for like five cents each, and so at Christmas I usually put like gift cards and stuff in those. These are um, that is just a book, which I'm not going to go in there. Um, these are the uh, traveler's notebooks, the standard size traveler notebook inserts from Michaels. Um, this is a stamp a punch 
that I only get, haven't even gotten into yet. These are, this is a make my own stamp pad. Um, these are, these were air, no, yeah, these are airmail envelopes. And so I just thought they were cool. And I paid not 49 cents, I paid 25 cents a box for them. So, and I just thought they were cool to have as, as different ephemera. This is just clothing that I use. These are all my, oh Lord, all my unused pencil cases and pouches and covers that are small. This was a pack of 100 um, linen bags, drawstring bags. And I think they're for shoes, but yeah, we all know what we use those for. <laughs> um, we just put store notebooks in them. And then this is, hold on, my storage is getting in the way. Put that down for a minute. Uh, elastic. This is, I believe, one and a half millimeter. Uh, and I got this, the price tag's not on anymore. I got it for like $7 at my, stop, at my shop. And so, yeah, that's going to be used for some special things. And then this is um, elastic as well, but it's the thicker, wide elastic there. But more of like the elastic you would use on like a moleskin um, for the back, the flipping around. Um, and then just some markers there. Let's go down here. This is just ephemera bits from cards to maps. Get that out of there. Um, from old cards, maps, planners, um, medieval England, just different things that I could use for ephemera bits and pieces. I'll stick that back in there. This is that is actually an extra set of the coffee stickers that are up there because I had a whole nother set. As you can tell, crafting and coffee are pretty much my thing. So where was I? Um, this is just the drawer. It has all my stamping stuff in there and then extra pouches from uh, different um, kits, sub boxes, and then those are my Simply Gilded sub box boxes. And this is a bunch of, um, they're the plastic envelopes, like the, just like the big, various sizes, um, just for storage. And then I have this bag, too, that I just got. And then this is, um, just various junk, different swag pieces and uh, some natural beeswax and all that kind of stuff. And then there's a pot in there that I could actually melt the beeswax if I wanted to. And down here is all just worms that I use for packing. And then that one is notebooks. That is a giant bin of paper, cardstock, all of that, so I can keep it all together. And then, that is all of my mailing stuff uh, for my mailers. And this, you're gonna laugh, but this is my cat's basket because he likes to sit in it when he's in here. And if I have that out for him, he will stay there. So, and then those are some packages and some other storage options that I haven't used yet. Um, this, all of this is just leftover crafting stuff from various times of my life, which I still didn't want to get rid of. I got rid of a ton, but these are other things that I still want to keep. Um, that is a pile of Star Trek stuff that I am eventually going to put up on eBay. And that is a spinner that I got at a thrift store uh, just recently for like $2. My laminating machine, which I love, a big pile of uh, Midori notebooks that I am putting up on uh, on eBay or on the different buy sell trade groups. This is how I am storing all of my different ephemera bits. 
so uh, let me see if I can pull that up. There you go. So like this one is just calendars and tabs from the different kits that I get. This is these are all different die cuts from the different kits. Coco Daisy simply um, simply gilded and from wherever else. These are the notepads. Put that over there. These are the different um, bows and clips and uh, sticker patches that I've gotten. These are the different cards, the journaling cards. And last but not least, these are just different bits of things that I didn't have room for other places. But I love this thing because it keeps it all organized and in one place. Um, and that's all my laminating stuff and a lot of my bits and pieces from Simply Gilded and more candles. See, the one thing that I love about natural beeswax candles, rolled beeswax candles, it, it actually just melts away. It doesn't drip. It literally burns away. And that is a beautiful thing. Um, just some box storage. Another um, rock uh, um, salt thing. And then this is where I do my filming. And so I come in here and this is how I use my, this is where I put the, the iPad and it comes out. Those are all things that need to be reviewed. And that's a backup uh, holder for my iPad. Uh, and then my computer here is just if, um, uh, we just actually moved this in here. Uh, and so this is one that uh, my husband brought home. And um, it's an all-in-one system. So it'll actually just be used for notes and everything um, if I decide to go and do live stuff. And then I'm also going to be doing uh, probably, fingers crossed, uh, starting a podcast. And I'll be doing it in here and I'll be using it off of that. So then in here... This is another iPad holder. That's actually what I use. That stand um, for when I'm filming, when the camera's turned towards me. This is all my sewing stuff in this closet. Let me see if I can pull back enough. Um, those are all bins of fabric and uh, various pieces of fabric. That is all my clothing st or my stash of stuff to sew. So I have that. And then back here is more crafting stuff, which obviously, hold on, let's see if I can get my light to turn around so that you guys can see in the closet, maybe. Um, well, there's my Raskog cart for all my painting supplies, and um, there's uh, all my art books and stuff down there. And then I got these, and I'm going to do these for Christmas. There is, they are a, um, they're canvas panels, and they're like little flowers, which I want to do. And then these are tiny little canvas, little canvases. So I'm going to do those. And then uh, part of why I'm in here, that stack of notebooks, is I'm taking the price tags off of them. And so I'm using my um, hair dryer. This is all my beeswax stuff. This was, this cart, oh my goodness, the things this cart has seen. This cart was originally all, the only thing that I had that was crafting. And so, I know that seems crazy, but um, it's true. It rolled around in our den, and now, uh, because I've started using some of the, of the, um, candles. I'm like, huh, because I was going to get rid of all of it. But then I thought, you know, no. So now you can see this a lot better. So this is all my odds and ends of stuff, bags, things like that. Uh, that blue bag down there is my beading bag. That's actually my alto sacks. 
and some different uh, things from high school and college. Comic books. Oh my gosh. A, uh, a crown royal holder with my little brothers. Put down below if you know what this is. Because I will be impressed if you do. But I have one. Don't have the rest of it. But I have one. Um, and then some film tins. Uh, a a Jetson um, a kids meal set that I got when I used to work at Spencer Gifts. And more comic books. So that's all comic books and stuff. So yeah. This is pretty much just crafting crap. So this is a, some would call it a bridle, but it's actually a Chinese or Japanese weapon, like a whip, but it's not. In the base here, or in the handle here, you can actually unscrew that and there are two throwing knives. Um, when I used to cosplay a Klingon, she carried that. So and her name was Cladonna, the Klingon Madonna, uh, in one of the many Klingon costumes that I did. But anyway, yeah, this is where I film. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, stop the video, and then I will go ahead and start the uh, the walkthrough and show you what I put in uh, with the Panda Planner when I sent it to Cappy. Unfortunately, it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, I misjudged the uh, size of the box, but that's okay. I hope she enjoyed it. So anyway, uh, put in that mystery item if you guys know what that is down below. And uh, if you have not subscribed, please do. Normally my videos are not like this, but I'd had some requests to see my studio. And so basically this is a tiny little room in my basement that I have turned into uh, where I film and where I do some of my crafting and where I'm doing my side hustle. So um, where I put things up on eBay, where I um, sort them out and get them ready to ship. Obviously there are two shipments right there ready to go. And so yeah. So welcome to Paper and Pour Overs Home Base. All run by Caffeine and Chaos. And there, there's a, the little board that I was going to do and then everybody else started doing it and I'm like, ah, I don't want to do it, but I still have it up there. So there you go. All right. I will go ahead and turn this around so you guys can see what was in the box for Kathy. Bye. Okay. So before we get into anything else, I wanted to uh, show you what I am putting in the box for Kathy since she won the Panda Planner. This is the one that I did the pen test on in the very back, but other than that, it is brand spanking new, so uh, hopefully she enjoys it, and I appreciate everybody that entered the contest. Uh, so I am going to put in the Panda Planner, and then next up is just a sheet of floral stickers from one of the Mambi books that I've got. Uh, and then I've got, these are three uh, sticker sheets that I got, I picked up. They're Michael's Rewards shot sheets, but I actually got them from my little shop. It was a whole pack of them. And so I will put three of those in there for her to use. And then this uh, really cute uh, notepad that I picked up. And it's got this very simple design on it, which I really like. And then uh, two other sticker or uh, sh little um, post-its, the arrows and these cute little flowers. Then a set of my favorite pen to use. Um, it's the uh, point five, uh, Fine Point in the Paper Mate Ink Joy, which I purchased again at my favorite little shop. So there's that. And then that'll go in as well. And then um, just a little thank you note for Kathy uh, that I just wrote out for her. And then in here 
is some, um, it's a set of uh, stickers uh, that have the month and she can use the dates on them as well. Since this is an undated planner, I picked these up at um, Michael's at a, at a clearance sale, I think. But I had a, a duplicate set of these, so I pulled these out for her and put those in. And then, last but not least, a um, big envelope or an envelope full of uh, different die cuts. These are some of the die cuts that I'm going to be using um, as gifts uh, for uh, planner con, planner con parties. So, yeah, so that'll go in there as well. So, just a little box of goodies um, to go in, and so I will box this all up and get it sent out to her tomorrow. So, uh, that is what I am putting in the box with the Panda Planner.